G'day guys, Socket here. Today we're going to continue on with our Room EQ Wizard car audio tuning tutorial series. Today we're going to have a look at um, using the USB microphone to do some moving mic measures of our full range speakers. So I've already done a tutorial uh, video on setting up the USB mic, um, including all the settings you need to put into REW. So if you haven't had a look at that, jump back and check that out. If not, uh, let's get on and do some measurements. Okay, so before we take some measures, we're just going to quickly um, run through the setup. So here I have the laptop, got my trusty USB mic ready to go. Um, I've got the volume on my head unit turned up to about two thirds of maximum volume. And then I've got my uh, pink noise um, ready to go, uncorrelated pink noise because I'm doing the speaker measurements and uh, that's connected to my a DSP via Bluetooth okay so I think we're pretty much ready to start doing some measures okay so before we start taking some measurements uh, we're going to want to ch check some settings in REW and create a nice blank canvas in the DSP for us to do our tuning um, if you haven't already watched the USB setup video um, please go back and check that out and the same with the DSP software. Um, if you're not familiar with the Audio Tech Fisher PC um, tool, uh, there's a bunch of uh, tutorial videos on my channel uh, that you can go back and have a look at. Um, but if you haven't seen some of that content, don't worry, I'll try to walk through it step by step and hopefully be able to follow along. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go over to our preferences and just check our drivers and our input and output devices are set up correctly and uh, the details are covered in the uh, USB microphone setup video but very quickly Java 48 um, your uh, output device uh, your speaker your input device which is your U, um, microphone that you're using in my case it's the U mic you'll notice there's two U mics and I know the uh, external one is the correct setting because if I click on this one I get an error message so um, that's that one uh, microphone input um, and these settings for your timing reference don't really matter so that all looks fine uh, if you've got a calibration file uh, for your microphone pop it in there once again that's covered in the U USB microphone setup video um, the next thing we want to check is our real-time analyzer tool, so the RTA. Uh, we want to go to our settings tool here and just check the settings are all set up properly. So 148 octave, no smoothing, FFT length of 64, um, averages forever. Now this next one's optional. I've got it stop at 105 measures. Um, you don't need to do that, you can actually stop it manually using the space bar when you're doing measurements, um, but I like to do that, it just makes it nice and easy. Um, Han window and maximum overlap 87. Once again, in the USB microphone setup video, it covers why those settings are important. Okay, the next thing we need to do is go and set up our DSP so that it's all ready to uh, uh, record our measures so we want everything to be a nice blank canvas um, so no gains no timing no EQ work anything like that so um, you can go in and either use the reset button to do some of these things um, so you can reset the equalizer the high pass the low pass channel gains time alignment phase alignment and I would just leave all these others blanks at the top five and then hit OK and that should get rid of all of the settings uh, that you don't want and now we'll go and put in some um, bypasses and things so that we've got our speakers ready to be ready measured in full range so starting with the tweeters we're going to want to put in a 1000 hertz safety crossover so that's that one and bypass the top end and then we do the same with our right tweeter 1000 safety and bypass and then for all the other speakers we are just going to put in bypasses so they are pulling that's right playing in full range so that's our mids 
uh, our mid bases, bypass, bypass, our other, sorry, our right mid base. I'm going to skip my rear speakers for this tutorial. Uh, this is my rear subs, so bypass both of those, and then my front subs. So we're going to bypass those as well. Alright, so now everything's bypassed. Uh, just make sure all of our speakers are muted. Fantastic. Alright, so everything's set up. So now we'll go and do a test measure. So we'll do a um, left mid, because that's nice and safe. And we'll use the test measure as a way of testing the system uh, and also explaining how to do each of the moving mic method uh, measurements. So we're going to RTA, um, REW, we've already checked the settings, that's fine. We have our pink noise ready to go. So the way that this works is we'll start the pink noise. Um, we'll then start the measurement and we will use the microphone and wave that around. And you'll see that down in the bottom left there's some averages. Um, starting to count down to 105. So if you've got this stop at 105 at, in the settings, then it will stop at 105 and the measurement will be taken. Um, now some people like to wave it from side to side, some people will make circles around their ears, um, you have 50 averages on one side and 50 averages on the other. Um, whatever technique works for you. But um, once you, it stops at 105, you can turn the pick noise off and you can then hit this current button to save a copy of the um, a copy of the measurement right and then we can give it a name so in this case we'll you know, call it test so um, there's our first measurement so it looks like everything's working fine uh, if for some reason you don't get anything coming up on the uh, measurement chart or it looks super weird for some reason um, it's usually a couple of things. First of all, go back and check uh, you know, all your cable connections that your mic's uh, plugged in properly. You haven't accidentally got your head unit uh, volume muted. Um, in the DSP, um, under this uh, signal, uh, where is it? Um, the signal management uh, tab, that you've actually got the, your particular input selected and active. Uh, because sometimes you'll be running your signal, I like me playing my pink noise over the Bluetooth, but I might actually have um, that turned off and my analog on for some reason. So, you know, just double check, um, you know, all of those types of things. Um, but uh, if you've got to this point, fantastic. It means your system's up and running and ready for you to take your moving mic measures. All right, so let's go do some measurements. Um, I will start the process by starting with the uh, left tweeter and then working our way down through all the speakers so um, here we go so into the RTA we start the pink noise So there is our first measurement, we'll get rid of the test measurement and I'll call this uh, left tweeter full range. Right now we move on to the next speaker which is the right tweeter and we repeat the process. So under the RTA. We Okay, and this is our second measurement, uh, right tweeter, full range. And so we just work our way down through all the speakers until we've got them all measured. And uh, I won't make you sit through all that, I'll do that now. Fast forward and we'll join you when we have all, this, all the measurements done. Great, so that's all the measurements taken. Um, I'm just going to change the scale a little bit um, and 
apply some smoothing so I always use one six because that is the closest to human hearing and, um, and just click 20 to 20 down here Let's scroll up and down a little bit okay so it's not fitting on the screen very well on this little laptop so it'll just fit the data um, and so here are all the measures so let's have a very quick look uh, these are all full range so no crossovers or anything like that so this is the left and right tweeter lining up pretty well rolling off you know around about the 3000 mark playing up to you know what's that probably 13,000 13,000 something like that um, so they're the tweeters the mid-range um, not the greatest measurement not sure what's going on over here but um, basically they're playing from uh, let's see about 180 sorry, 200 something like that um, big couple of big dips and things going on uh, but probably could cross them over around about 3 3k before they start falling off so that's the mids uh, the mid base um, yeah, don't look the, like the cleanest measures I've ever seen but these are full range measures so you do get some funky stuff going on um, the mid bass look like they're playing through to about 200 before falling off um, and over here maybe to you know, mid 50s to 60s um, so that's the mid bass and then we have the front sub and the rear sub and you know the levels are way up here a uh, big honky peak um, but you know they could probably you know you could probably play them up to a hundred um, and you know, you've got plenty of level to um, you know do some other stuff at this end so yeah wow um, so that is the uh, um, full range measures for all the speakers using the moving mic method um, hopefully you've got to this point um, and that you found uh, this tutorial um, interesting and able to sort of follow along uh, in the next episode we're going to look at uh, where we're going to set crossovers um, and then plug them into the DSP before doing some measures with the crossovers enter to see what impact the crossovers have uh, versus the full range measures so um, I look forward to catching up with you then